Unfortunately, every day our values are under attack. I want those of you that uh, buy uh, newspapers now and then or read the Orlando Sentinel to pick up Sunday's copy of the Sentinel. I've already been told by Scott Maxwell, who I normally get along with pretty well, he's a liberal, but I want to explain something to you because this is the way much of the mainstream media views the world. The city of Berkeley, California, three or four weeks ago, passed a resolution condemning the local marine recruiting station. Then they turned around, they said that they were uninvited invaders in their precious city of Berkeley, California. These are our marine recruiters that are talking to young men and women that may want to serve and fight and die for their country. Then, to make matters worse, they did away with all the local city regulations and they gave free uh, parking lot right next to the marine recruiting station to Code Pink which is a group of crazy ladies that dress in pink and disrupt things. They harass recruiters. They throw things. We've had bombings in New York City recruitment stations. We've had about uh, 55 incidents in the last three months where re recruiters or recruiting stations have been attacked by thugs and anti-American activists. So what does Berkeley do? They go out of their way to, to literally facilitate Code Pink's assault and attack on our recruiters and the men and women that are want to talk to recruiters about opportunities to serve their country. Now, so what I did was I co-sponsored a bill to say that if Berkeley doesn't want the help of the United States Marine Corps, Berkeley's not going to get funding from the federal government. We shouldn't have American taxpayers have to pay for that. And then I sponsored another bill that said that any other city or locality or university, by the way, that denies access to Marine recruiters intentionally is going to be denied federal funding. I think that's what you would want as a... I had a conversation with my friend, a liberal, Scott Maxwell, and he said, essentially, well, why are you wasting time talking about what the city of Berkeley is doing? I said, Scott, it's because this is a message to every man and woman who is in harm's way today with their life on the line to preserve our, our values. This is a message to every veteran that served our country and this is a message, most importantly, to the moms and the dads and the brothers and the sisters that have loved ones overseas, that we are not going to facilitate and reward behavior that attacks our military institutions or our military leaders. Maxwell said, well, I think you're wasting time and tax dollars talking about this. I said, Scott, every red-blooded American patriot is offended by what Berkeley did. And he said, oh, now you're saying that I'm not patriotic. And then he assured me he will be attacking me in his column tomorrow. I want all of you, he's got a website, Scott will read it, be polite, let him know that some Americans still believe in this country, and they still believe we ought to honor the men and the women and their families that serve. So if you're offended by Scott's column, I think this is a great opportunity for you to express your views.